Hi guys, it's Mark here at M3 Networks with a video today on an introduction to firewalls. It's fair to say that most people have heard of a firewall, but not many people actually know what a firewall does. This video is the start of a series of videos that I'm going to make using the Cybersecurity Challenge UK games on their website to show you things like firewalls, um, network protection, password and some encryption um, techniques all using games to uh, make the learning uh, easy and fun. So if you head over to cybergamesuk.com you'll see that they have a number of cybersecurity games that you can take online. Now these are actually aimed at kind of 12 to 17 year olds and the game that we're going to show you today on the firewall introduction was actually being played by my daughter Chloe, who's 11. Now she has done some of the other cyber games on the website here, but she has never actually done the intro to firewalls one. So we're going to run through that and we're going to see how Chloe gets on. So we're going to click on begin and we're going to get the game going now. So this is the first test that Chloe has to work through. So the rules for firewall are simple. Uh, each rule has its own line. A firewall is, will either allow or deny access based on several criteria including the source IP address, source port, destination IP and destination port and the data transfer protocol. So incoming attempts to pass through the firewall will be checked against each rule in order. If all the criteria match an allow rule then the connection will be allowed. If it does not match then the next rule will be checked. So typically a firewall will have several rules followed by a default deny rule which will prevent uh, any attempts to make a connection but only if the preceding allow rules have failed. So we will be taking on the job of the firewall, inspecting each incoming packet and then making a decision as to whether it should be allowed through or not. So here's the first one that Chloe is dealing with. So she has a source IP of 10.10.10.1 which matches the allow rule. There's a source port of 250 but our first rule allows any source port so that's okay. The destination IP matches the allowed destination IP in rule 1. The port and the protocol also match so this should be a grant access and yeah Chloe's got that one right. Um, now when you make a decision for grant and access you also have to select which rule uh, that was grant and access. Now in this case there is only two rules but in some of the other examples you'll see there's multiple rules so you have to pick the one that was grant and access. I think she was a little bit confused in what she should do here in terms of what she should click um, but she still makes the right choice uh, and gets the uh, gets the uh, the question right. Now I was not watching her while she was playing this. We set the uh, we set the video to record and we let her go off on her own while she did it. So here's the second um, test now. So again we've only got one allow rule and then the blanket deny at the bottom. We've got a source IP address which again matches. We've got the source port which is set to any so the 260 port is okay. This nice P is correct as well. Destination port however doesn't match and neither does the protocol. So again, Chloe gets this one right and denies access. For now we've got two allow rules to check. So we've got a source IP, again correct, matches the incoming packet, port can be anything. Destination IP doesn't match destination port and protocol do. So this should be a deny access. Chloe's gone and picked the grant option and she's going to pick what she thinks is right. But actually she got that one wrong. The 
you can see why she did that. She thought that the source IP in the first one allowed it. Um, so she was kind of using a combination of both the rules uh, to allow things through, but it wasn't the right choice. So in this one here, uh, doesn't match the first rule because the source IP straight away is wrong. Matches the source IP rule for the second um, access rule. The port can be any, the destination can be any. Uh, the destination port matches 443 and the protocol can be any. So again, the protocol doesn't really matter here. So, so the only two things that you know the allow rule uh, is really caring about is the source IP and uh, the destination port. So this is an allow. Let's see if she can pick the right rule. Now it should be rule two. So she was writing that that uh, should uh, grant access, but she selected the wrong rule. I think she's trying to work out how she got that one wrong. Things are going to step up a little bit more now then. We've got three allow rules to consider. So we've got a source IP of 70.1.34.1 so the first two allow rules aren't going to be of any use so we jump down to rule 3 straight away then we work our way across uh, the source port can be any so that's fine the, the destination IP can be any that's fine the destination port can be any so that's fine and the protocol of TCP matches the protocol uh, on our packet here so that is yep she's right to give access to that and let's see if she can pick the right rule this time. Yeah, she's she's nailed it. I think she learnt from the last one of why or which rule it is that she should be selecting. So okay, so here is another one coming in. So 192.168.1.1 source IP. Now it doesn't match any of the allow rules, so this should be a straight deny. She should get to that, yeah, get to that conclusion pretty fast. So here then we've got an, an 80.2.46.96 that matches the top rule. Uh, the source port doesn't match though. We've got an incoming port of 100 and the firewall will only allow port 440 on the IP address. So this should be a deny access. Starting to get a little bit more tricky here that there is more things to have to check. But let's see if she makes the right choice clicks the deny access button. Spend a lot of time checking this one over. Lost it. Deny access on that one. Now we're going up to four allow rules to have to check through. So again we go for source IP address which does match the first allow rule. Of course port matches 110. The IP is allowed to be any, so that's okay. Destination port is allowed to be any, but the port protocol should be TCP only and we've got an incoming UDP protocol packet, so this should be denied on that basis. Like she's got that one sussed. So next one, uh, we've got a 110.80.215.8 packet coming in. Now this is a little bit tricky because our allow uh, rules now have an any source IP which they haven't in any kind of previous uh, examples. So we move on to source port of 800. So rule 3 looks okay, it matches the destination IP. Uh, port can be any and the protocol is UDP which matches so she's clicked allow which is right and uh, let's just make sure she picks the right uh, rule 
should be rule number three. Answer getting that one correct again. Another kind of trickier one here too. Let's look for uh, first two rules aren't now of any use because they don't match the source IP. Um, so rule three uh, doesn't match the source port. Rule four could be any IP. It does match the port 1000. But the destination IP doesn't match. So on that basis, this should be denied. Well done, that's a great answer. The Chloe's done a fantastic job in this, scoring 80% in her first attempt, just showing that anyone can take the time to learn about cybersecurity. So there you go, if you want to learn about firewalls and other cyber related topics and play some games while you're at it, just go and check out the Cyber Games UK com website and have some fun and we'll see you in the next video in this series where we will be covering network defense we'll see you then